All right, y'all, so we finally jumped on the birria train, but we did ours with a little twist. We used chicken today, so it's a little lighter version than that beef. The seasonings we're gonna need, we're gonna start with black garlic powder. We're gonna use some diced chipotle in adobo sauce, mozzarella cheese, of course, ground clove. We have a chicken bouillon cube. We have cumin, black pepper. We got our bay leaf. In the back there, we got some onion powder, oregano, and coriander for that little smokiness. We also got some olive oil, but you can use whatever oil you got in the cabinet, y'all. For produce, we got red bell pepper, parsley, tomato, carrot, onion, thyme, and not on camera, it's garlic. All right, we're gonna use boneless chicken thighs for our protein. And you can use flour tortillas or corn tortillas. It's your choice. So this is where the fun really begins. We're gonna make a really good vegetable puree, and that's gonna be the base of our broth. So right now you see me adding in all of my produce into my high power blender, because that's gonna do most of the work for me. So add everything in, you ain't gotta worry about chopping it up. But next, you do wanna add in your chipotle peppers. You cannot forget those, they'll add a really good smokiness to your broth. Um, also, if you did the guajillo chilies or the dry chilies, um, we have to reconstitute those and then add those in at this point. Now, I'm adding some chicken stock in because I want to get my puree going a little bit. You can add water if you like. Also, add a little olive oil in there. And we're just gonna puree it up, get it mixed really well. Like I said, the high power blender really helps. It does most of the work for you, so you ain't gotta be keep blending, blending, blending. This is what you'll get, a nice silky puree, and we're gonna strain that through our strainer. Keep pushing it through, pushing it through. I even added some chicken stock to get it, you know, as much flavor out of that puree as possible. So I'm just pushing it through my strainer. This broth is what you want, save that for later. So now we're gonna season up our chicken using our dry seasonings, um, all of that. Um, the black garlic powder is a really good seasoning um, and it's an all purpose one. You can use it on about anything, but season your chicken. Um, I will kind of stick to the more Latin seasonings versus um, any other because you are trying to mimic um, a Hispanic dish or a Latin dish. <laughs> but yeah, I love um, using a lot of seasoning, not more so salt. And you add your little olive oil so you can work the seasoning into the chicken really well. Here we go, we're gonna brown up our chicken on both sides, about five minutes per side. We're gonna cook it in another process so you don't have to cook it all the way through, but just make sure you get a really good um, sear on your chicken. And once you flip it, you know, make sure it's brown like you want it. Ooh, that looks so good. <laughs> that looks so good. So next, we're gonna add in our beautiful broth that we saved. Um, if you wanna save out about a cup of broth for later, that's really good to do at this point. And I also added a little bit more chicken stock and then poured some more flavor into it. I'm gonna boil this for about 30 to 45 minutes. And then I'm gonna start shredding my chicken once I remove it from the broth. Do not throw your broth out. You're gonna save your broth, but remove the chicken and just start to, deep, um, to shred it up. Um, into really fine pieces so we can assemble our taco. All right, so once you shredded your chicken up, this is what you should end it up with. And then we're gonna add that right back into that broth. So it's important, do not throw your broth out. And we're gonna just keep simmering it in the broth to get some flavor into our shredded chicken. Oh God, it looks so good already. Oh yes, so these tacos gonna be juicy as well as flavorful, because no one wants a dry taco. I added that little jalapeno because I wanted a little heat. You do not have to add that in there though. That's just need me an extra. All right, so that liquid we reserve, we're gonna use right now, we're gonna dip our tortillas in it. Um, if you ever notice that birria tacos are usually red, this is why they're dipping the tortillas in some of the broth that is uh, usually red. So here is a key element, also adding that fat into your puree will help get your um, taco more brown. So now we're gonna add our tortillas down and we're gonna start the layering process to get these cheesy tacos going. So I added two tortillas down and I'm also gonna add my mozzarella cheese right on top. If you have the cojita cheese, the, the melty Mexican cheese, you can use that as well. Um, but I'm just adding mozzarella today and I'm gonna get let that sit 
for a little while before I add the meat because you want it to start the melting process. So I added my shredded chicken right on top of it. And you can add a little bit of the juice as well. But again, do not add too much because you do not want the tortilla to get too saturated with, with broth. So I'm folding it over now, but being really gentle with it because you don't want to break it. So fold over your tacos and just let them do its thing and um, leave them alone for a little while. So after um, you let them go for a little while, just keep a watch on them. And now we're going to flip them over. Like I said, be gentle with them, y'all. I think the most key thing is not adding too much broth because you do not want it to be soggy. That makes it break even even more so I'm gonna make a little another one just to show y'all how it actually goes again all right these tacos are really good made at home y'all I know we see so many trends but this is one you definitely should make for your family hopefully the chicken variation um, will help a lot of people who are trying to lighten up their diet I know my family really loved it I mean who don't like a cheesy taco but if you love this um, video y'all make sure you like and subscribe it leave me some comments send me some messages y'all um, and I hope you enjoy